good picture. We're, we're going to get out of the way and let, let everybody get a good one. Uh, we want to first welcome you guys. If this is your first time ever being inside Dodging, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if it's not your first time, if you've been here a thousand times, we still want to welcome you. We're glad that you're here tonight um, celebrating these guys and their work. Uh, my name is Chris Whittington, or Mr. Witt. It's the same person, unless you've heard bad things about the other one, <laughs> not him. Uh, this is Miss Scott, uh, Chandler Scott, and she and I have the privilege of working with these kids every single day um, in our chorus class. This is a, our sixth period chorus class, and tonight is a little bit of an anomaly. Um, normally, we would have all of our sixth grade chorus kids up here. So we have another concert, as you guys are pretty well aware of, uh, immediately following this. So our sixth grade really is double this size. Um, and they, where they rehearse together, or sorry, they rehearse in two different classes, they normally perform together. So we're hoping in the spring that you'll get a chance to see 10 risers full of sixth grade kids, and we know you're gonna hear the growth um, from tonight to that spring concert. So we're excited to have you guys here. I have to say just from Miss Scott's and my perspective, this is our first concert that we've had an opportunity to direct in 23 months. And, it feels good to be here. So this is a special, special night in a lot of ways. Um, well, I want to go over just a couple of housekeeping things and then tell you a little bit about what tonight's concert is going to look like and why that's some similar and some different. So first of all, um, all of us have these awesome, amazing things in our pockets or in our hands right now. Um, if you'll do me a favor, this is a brief concert, first of all, but please silence your phone. Secondly, if you're going to take a picture or a video in the middle of the concert, I actually was at the Walton concert not too long ago, and some mom was doing this, and she had no clue, no, you know, no clue that she had her, had her flash on. So if you're going to take a video or, or a picture, just put your hand down, whoop, there we go, put your hand down under your phone, make sure it's not on before you flip it up. Um, that way it doesn't distract these guys. Um, secondly, just remain seated for this, this performance. This performance is, again, going to be brief. The biggest uh, goal for us is to get them up here, show a little bit about what we've been doing, and get them off the stage feeling really, really good about themselves and what we've been accomplishing and then moving forward. So, uh, so if you'll remain seated, but if you need to leave at any point, just if you'll leave um, in between sections. So we're going to be doing a little demonstration here at the beginning, um, and then after that we'll be doing Zoom golly golly and, and finishing up with Do Re Mi. So the last person I wanted to introduce this up on stage is Miss Laurel Harrell. Miss Harrell is our accompanist. She joins us as often as she can. We're trying to get on a one week schedule, or once a week schedule, um, where she has an opportunity to come in and play for the kids. I'm sure that they would not tell you that, uh, that her skills and my skills are the same. Um, so we are glad when she comes in because she can definitely fill in the places that I can't. Um, so we thank you, Ms. Harold. And we, we want to finish by thanking a couple other people, our administration uh, who supports our music program at Dodge and we're, we're kind of a weird thing. We have over 90 some odd percent of our student population is involved in band or short chorus, which is not normal, um, and I love that. I, if I'm going to be weird at something, that's a good thing to be weird at. Uh, so, and that that comes from not only the support that we get from our administration, our staff here at Dodge, and, but also you, our community. We are community. I'm in this community as well, and uh, and we want to thank you all for your support. So, we're going to go through a little bit of a demonstration on what we do every single day, and I think this is really important for you all to see because I'm sure some of you may have never been in chorus class before. I was talking with one of our administrators the other day, and he's like, I've never been in a music class. And when I sat and watched the band concert, it was interesting to see like what happens in a music class. So some of you may be very experienced, and some of you may have no experience. So we're just gonna show you a little bit about what we do. This will be the only time that we'll ever do this for you guys, um, but it's a great time for you to see it. So, we try to access a couple of things. If you'll hit the arrow back up, if you would. Thanks. Um, so we try to access a couple of things in our instruments. So we, we talk about our head voice and our chest voice. Um, and our head voice is a way that we can access higher notes, and our chest, chest voice really supports some of those lower notes. 
Um, the students are broken into two voice parts right now, but no matter what voice part you're in, you're going to need access to both of them. So we start every day by doing a little bit of vocal warm up with their head voice and their chest voice. So we're going to do that for you right now. And before we do, so we do a thing called sirens. Um, they're very annoying, and um, I apologize ahead of time. However, um, we also do a lot with, in terms of posture because our instrument, um, unlike band and orchestra where you get to carry it around, this is our instrument and we learn to take care of it and, and uh, hold it properly. Um, so we teach a lot about posture. Um, so right now you can see that they have pretty good, we call this position one, so standing, singing posture. Um, so sh show your parents and everybody uh, a bad position one. Right? You may see them sitting around or standing around the house like this. However, when we sing, we have to have a good position one. Show them a good position one. Beautiful. Um, I told them that this will make them taller, so they, they really want to do this. Um, so let's do some sirens. Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! Oh! Oh! Ha, ha, ha! Oh, oh, oh! that we do siren-wise, so if they, you see them ever making weird noises around the house, it's not our fault. Okay. Um, we also do a lot with match and pitch, and so they can listen to each other. A lot of choral singing is all about listening. Um, so we work to match pitch correctly and blend. We also make sure that they know how to cut off correctly so they know when to stop. Um, maybe you can try this on them every now and then. Um, gonna have step ready. Ooh. Good. Gonna have step ready. Ooh. All right. Um, and we're also gonna do some demonstrations. So they came in to chorus, not necessarily. Um, they, they're obviously very talented students, and they came in with some great talent. Um, but we just polished it up a little bit. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do some, a little a few exercises and show you some differences that we've created. Um, now, um, let's give an example of kind of what we heard at first. Ready and. That's not an exaggeration. Now fix it. So our goal is kind of to like sound a little bit more mature than we are sometimes. Um, and, and sound a little older every now and then. Wonderful. And then we also, as you can see, we were working on vowel shape as well. That's uh, part of what is correct singing. So it's not just knowing the notes and singing the correct words with it. It's actually doing much more than that. We focus also on consonants. That way you understand what we're saying. So we, using the, the combination of vowels and consonants in music, we call that diction, having good diction. My hope is that any time that we ever perform something in English for you, that you know what we're saying. Um, that's that's going to be more enjoyable for you. You'll get more from that whole entire experience. So these uh, these next couple of exercises are going to be all about using that consonant sound. extending the range, both up and down, because as some of you know, uh, middle school is quite a tumultuous uh, time for voice changes. 
Um, we don't have much in sixth grade, but especially once we get into seventh grade, we start adding on um, new voice parts with our guys in the section. They, we have a baritone section when their voices start to drop. Um, so we do a lot with extending the range up as well as down to help them through their voice change. With a za, so, or so, ha, 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 detached singing as well as legato singing which is smooth and connected. Um, and then go into bye 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 ready bye 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 this extends the range down so they get some low notes in the system. We also have learned a lot about our scale. Um, so we'll demonstrate a scale for you guys as well. Um, here we go, hands eyes. Ready and sing. Do. caught in everything that I have on right now. Um, with this scale, we have, basically this is our way of singing. So we use solfege here. Um, so, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, do. Um, and that's kind of our second language. It's our way to speak in music. Um, and we tell the kids that we get to be kind of bilingual in music. Um, we get to use multiple different methods to read music. Um, and they're actually going to read some music for you. They're going to actually sight read some examples. Uh, they've never seen this example before. Um, and so they are going to be looking at it and they're going to practice it on their own in front of y'all. I'm going to give them about 30 seconds um, to practice it and then we're going to try it for you. So this is the first time they're going to be able to sing this example ever. So let's see how they do. So we also teach them the ability to work independently as well as with a group. Um, this is them doing their independent work. Let's try it. Everyone sing do, do. And if you know how to read, try to sing it with us. Here you go. Oh. 
Hold it. Oh, very nice. surprised us the other day. We, I, I threw a really hard example on the board. Um, I didn't expect him to get it. I was just like, ah, oh, maybe. Um, and it was two parts. So they had to have, this group had to sing one at the same time as this group. And I was like, maybe they'll get it. They usually don't get it until spring semester. Not only did they knock it out of the park, they did so, it so confidently um, that I was just like, I was in shock. And I was like, you guys are way smarter than I thought. The last thing we're going to do is a pop loop. So this is something that um, I kind of started doing with them because, you know, we like pop music. And so we, we create kind of like a little looping system, um, building on top of a melody that we really enjoy. Um, can I do that? Yes. So I think some of you might know this song. Um, let's get my melody section. So we have a melody section, we have an ostinato section, as well as a harmony section. So the ostinato section is just a little pattern um, that, that we do along with the melody line. One call, one call. I'm going to start with y'all, okay? One, two, and one call, one call away. One call, one call away. Section. Here we go. One, two, 